screen sharing looking good? Yep. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> Goose yelled something. Sorry. This is live theater. Uh, so first, if if you if you went to Quick Take Quick Talk Tuesdays, Quick Take Tuesdays years ago, I did this talk uh, in 2019, I think, uh, and I liked it a lot. I don't know if anyone else liked it, but I, I liked it. It's quick, it's punchy, and it's about something I love: running. Um, uh, I, I uh, my wife asked uh, what was it, what I was presenting. I told her I was going to talk about running, and she she's like, "Why do you why are you always trying to get people to run?" uh you know what's what's in it for you and there's there's nothing really there's just a joy of sharing something that you know i love it, like um uh mythic quest on apple tv i thought it would be crappy but i watched it this last weekend uh and it's good so i would say uh, check that out and then check out running and then i've shared something uh that i love that hopefully you'll like as well so without further ado running so quick preamble uh i am not a doctor I have no actual training. Uh, I have no credentials. I am just a fitness enthusiast uh, that likes to uh, share the joy of running with people. So if you have any <laughs> physical maladies, any concerns, talk to an actual expert. Uh, I'm only a fitness enthusiast. Okay, so why run? I'm gonna sell you on it today, get ready. So first, health and vitality. Second, deep and profound connection to human history. Finally, fun. What's not to love? Okay, so first, uh, based on uh, a couple issues of Runner's World I read and uh, some book and the uh, Runner's subreddit, uh, you can live longer. There was one study that showed that, like, in general, uh, runners had a fewer incidents of cancer, so that's cool. Uh, improved mood, mindfulness. Uh, I'm sure there's other stuff. Uh, it's just generally good to elevate your heart rate, move around, stretch out your muscles. Uh, and then this the patent pending, patent pending. Nobody steal this. Uh, still working on the patent since 2019. This is my pain gain uh, exercise uh, system. <clears throat> so you can see beer, uh, no gain, very little gain, very little pain though. It's very positive. On the other end of the spectrum, water polo, kickboxing, sport of the future. Uh, lots of pain, but also lots of gain. And then down in the other corner, for example, slip and fall accident, no gain there, all pain. Uh, biking, you know, some people like biking. It's, it's fine, I don't dislike biking, but it's a little too easy, you have a machine. So running occupies what I call the sweet spot in the pain gain nexus. Uh, you can do an easy run and uh, the gain is good, pain is low, you can do some interval training, some speed work, a little more pain, a little more gain, but it's, it's right there in that sweet spot. Secondly, deep and profound connection to all of human history. Uh, based on a book I half read and a TED talk I half watched, uh, humans uh, arguably were built for running. You look at other animals that uh, perambulate and their um, diaphragms are connected to their legs. That's inefficient. They can't sweat. Uh, they can't stand the heat. Humans can sweat. Our diaphragms are disconnected from everything. We got these uh, big butts and wide pelvises and uh, long legs. So like uh, if one were so inclined, uh, like I said, I only half read that book, you might say that we were uh, born to run. And so with every footfall, you find yourself connected to all of human history, all hundreds of thousands of years, all of humanity flowing through you as you jog down the street. Finally, fun. Look at that. Look how much fun I'm having. Your mileage may vary. Uh, I actually couldn't find a picture of me having fun running, but I, I'm pretty sure that at some point I had fun. At some point, I think. <laughs> so obviously you're sold. I can see uh, you're ready to get out there on the streets, start running. <laughs> How do you do it? Well, first, uh, again, not an expert, but based on my amateur research, talking to uh, many physical therapists that have injured myself over the years, uh, the number one indicator for success is some comfortable shoes and taking it easy. So you can go to a running store, you can get some uh, gait analysis, you can get some custom shoes if you like, or you can just get some shoes off Zappos as long as they're comfortable and then take it easy. 
uh, run at a comfortable pace so you can still talk and breathe. If you're tired, take a break and try running some more. There's no shame in the walk run. Uh, I've done that all the time. It's coming back from injury or coming back from the winter. Uh, you run for a little bit and you walk for a little bit. Uh, and just take it easy. Don't, don't ramp up your mileage all that fast, all that quickly. But then finally, this is, this is really important because I've stumbled over this trick many times. If you hurt yourself, if it hurts, don't run anymore. Stop. Like, take a break. <laughs> I know it seems like, oh, it's just a, just a pulled muscle. It's just a torn hamstring. It's just tendonitis. But, like, I promise you, if you take a break and relax, you'll have a much more rewarding experience. You'll be able to come back better and stronger. Um, uh, one, of my, <laughs> one of my recent physical therapists reminded me that the, uh, you know, the best runners uh, can run well into their 80s. Maybe not all that fast, but, uh, you know, you could have a 60-year running career if, if you're relatively young. So take it easy. Uh, in, in a good time, you will get to, uh, you know, speed and distance and all those wonderful things. So thanks for listening, and I hope you try running. Cool. Thanks, Sean. Uh, anyone Thank you. have questions to ask you? Okay. All right, good. I nailed it. Actually, question. Do you have any feelings about jogging? <laughs> it's not quite what a it, run, but, you know, it's, it's a little more brisk. Well, a, uh, a real sea change in my running career. I used to think that every run had to be really fast. You know, you had to do something. Uh, but the vast, that's, that's incorrect. Uh, but I had been running for years before anyone told me this. The vast majority of your runs should be jogs. You should be very chill most of the time and then have very deliberate uh, sort of uh, focused exercises for a small percentage of your running. So I'm a big fan of jogging. Hey, Bill, aren't you running the marathon this year? I am, that's correct. <laughs> Mostly at a jog pace. <laughs> cool. Um, if we don't have any other questions, then let's move to the next topic. Kim, are you ready?